power packs have arrived. I ordered two. Because these 780s, I've had a couple of them where I've had to replace these, so it's nice to have one on hand. Now, although this one is not marked Sanyo, I think Sanyo manufactured these. So here's the replacement one, here's the original one. This is the one that was in there. I don't know if it was original, like came with the unit or not. Just kind of look at the differences. Um, this has got some kind of number that's on the back on that piece of metal there. Yeah. Oh. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pre-bend all of the legs. So see how the legs are bent? I'm going to bend the legs. Uh, and then I'll apply some lithium grease. You know, there's a little bit of a weight difference between these two. You know, let me grab my... <clears throat> Sorry for the dead air. <laughs> These might be too heavy to weigh with my with my turntable, my little turntable scale here. But they, um, yeah, it's probably gonna be too heavy. Yeah, full. But I can tell you the this one. Yeah, this one. This one's different. It's got a different weight to it. Maybe after I replace this and assuming that it's working, um, I'll bring my kitchen scale out here. I have a kitchen scale that I can use just to see what the difference is in the weight between the two. All right, so what I'm going to do is bend the legs and then pop it in, resolder it into position. I do have to clean this, so I'm gonna I cleaned all of it over here on this side. I'm going to clean it on this side as well. So, really not much to see there. Um, yeah, so let me do that and I'll come right back. All right, the new power pack is in. I have it plugged in, but I don't have, oh, I don't have it turned on yet. And I thought I had printed up, I may have to go print up the alignment procedures. Assuming this comes out of protection. So let's see what happens. So new power pack, aftermarket replacement power pack is in. Um, let's see, the bad channel was the right channel. So let me grab, just kind of curious as to what. what the speaker terminals show in terms of voltage. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on. Let's see what happens. Okay, came out of protection. Showing negative 35 millivolts on the right channel. And or 30, 35 millivolts, 10 millivolts on the left channel. So that seems to be okay. Turn this off. All right, I'm gonna pause. I need to see if I have those alignment procedures. Let me see if I can find them. Cool, I actually had them like right next to me. All right, so I'm gonna let this, you know what, actually I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. Let me. I know it should be safe to connect some speakers to this. Get this side connected. See if we can hear something. Put it on FM, volume down, on. Make sure it comes out of protection. There we go. OK. 
Okay. Here we got a station. Put it to a station that. Awesome. All right, I'm just going to let this kind of settle in and give it about five minutes. <clears throat> and then I will check out um, what's going on in terms of the power amp alignment. So, okay, so we got to set those two VRs. The VRs are right there, those are the two blue VRs. Says fully rounded the counterclockwise direction without any load. I'll have to disconnect the speakers without any input signal. I'll put, put it to auxiliary. Connect a DC voltmeter between terminals number nine and ground and six and ground. And I had those the other day when I did it. There's nine, and I think uh, we're six. I think six. Okay, so six is this green wire, nine is that wire right there with nothing connected to it. So this is nine, this is six. And then set for zero volts. So that's what I will be doing. Uh, I'm gonna let this continue to run. I'm gonna pause the camera so I can listen to it for a little bit, make sure everything else is good on this, and then I'll um, adjust the uh, DC offset. All right, I have no load. It's on auxiliary. Volume is down, everything is flat, not like that should really matter. Loudness is off. I'm at one, one millivolt on the left channel. And I, that's just, I think that's good. And just touching it, it I mean, I'm not going to get any closer than that. So I'm going to call left channel good. Okay, right channel. If we can adjust the right channel. Let's see. Make sure I turn it the right way. This pot is super touchy. I'm going to try to get it close to zero, but I'm not going to go crazy on this because there we go. All right, let's see. There we go. So that's sitting at one, two millivolts, so that's good. What I do want to, uh, what I'll occasionally do is, uh, let me remove this probe. Just kind of zap the board with a thermometer. Just to make sure nothing's crazy. And everything seems to be alright with this. Yeah, nothing's real hot. Sometimes things will jump out right away and get real hot. And yeah, nope. See what's back of that's nice and cool. Back of that's nice and cool. Oh, those are getting a little warm, but that's normal. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm going to do with this now is connect some speakers. I'm going to kill the sound going to the speakers. Connect some speakers and I'm going to let this run for a little bit just to make sure. While I fart around and do some other stuff in the garage. Make sure I still have sound. So yep, still have sound so that's good. So I'm going to let this play. And real, that's that's the only thing that was going on with this one. So not really anything else to show you here, unless uh, something happens while I'm testing out. 
So, as always, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.